Yeah. Was there uh, any products you see you guys carrying in the future? That was interesting. Uh, yeah. I mean, one being the Ava remote. We'll definitely get that in your hands, Shane. Yeah. That's um, some cool stuff. That'll be very interesting. John's been talking uh, to me about that for like past two yeah, years. Yeah, I mean, they didn't quite hit the mark last year. We were excited about it, but we literally they gave us exactly what we told them it was missing year yeah. one. So it's it's pretty cool. It Did cool. you? So was it at the show? Yeah. yeah. So I saw the first version, which looked like just a phone, and it would just run apps on it. Is the second one like that, or is it just? It will run the apps natively as well as their own. So the the guy uh, Roth or Raphael, he used to be into uh, these big systems. He knows what he's doing. Yeah, uh, he comes from those big systems. So started Ava two years ago. They came out with the um, uh, Ava remote. Like you said, it was just a Google Android interface could run apps. Yeah. That's about it. Um, this new one, it does. It can do native apps, but it'll also run uh, their own Ava OS. And so in Ava OS, it'll create its own flows. Um, there's, I forgot how many products it'll, he said it'll support out of the gate. I think he said it was like 15,000 devices or something like that natively supporting. Um, but then in that, you're going to be able to create your own flows. So like if you tell it you have a, let's just say, let's just go through a whole theater room basic. You have a TV you tell it what brand you have, what model you have, and then it'll say, do you also have a receiver? You say yes or no. If you say yes, you pick the model of the receiver. And then it'll be like, you know, what is plugged into source one? Apple TV, class, you know, you kind of create your own flow and then you, you get- you bind, you bind the connections to everything. Then it does all the macros and the programming built into it. Basically, right. yeah. So you do, and you can create delays. So if you have instances where something turns something on, but it also turns something off in the meantime, you can create delays to help that flow. Um, uh, it looks. I'm gonna make a video on it, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna, it looks we awesome. ordered them for our own personal homes, and we'll send one to you, Shane, too, so you can yeah. check it out. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. I think it's actually really going to be our harmony replacement. I mean, we've been yeah. looking for one for years and used to just sell loads and loads of harmony, the 2400, but it looks to be even more intuitive than that. And it has the hub so we can even control IR devices. That was the big problem before is it was only IP native control. So they, and they got the hard buttons. I feel like that's pretty important too. It's kind yeah. of like that, uh, Apple TV feel, uh, to it, but you can still press, um, it's nice for when you're in the dark. You don't always want to look down at a touch screen, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it's still touch screen, but it's got tactile response, so it's clickable. Um, and then, yeah, all those buttons are dynamic. So if you go to Apple oh, TV, cool. there'll be buttons. You can tell what buttons. It'll automatically pick probably the most popular ones. And then you can switch them, change them. So, like, to their point, if you play Roku... There's no need for an eject button to show up on there, but there is an eject button on the Roku remote. So it's kind of smart in that it'll pull information from what you're kind of looking at. And it pulls the colors too as an accent. So if you start up Spotify, the circle turns green until you pick a song, then it pulls color from the album. So it's it's really dynamic in that aspect. Same thing with Cladiscape. You pick a movie, it shows yep. the cover art of the movie. Oh, really? And it'll, It'll show like the scrub bar of where it's at in the movie time wise. And then the, the bottom dynamic wheel will pull from a color of the movie artwork. The buttons will change to like volume up and down, play, pause, you know, chip, skip forward. It's really cool. Tell uh, them what's the price on that. So the remote, it's a little pricey, but it's all in one. Uh, but the remote is twelve ninety nine. Retail. You need the hub. You'll probably need the hub too if you have any IR yeah. devices. Um, so it's what is it, sixteen hundred? Get the hub. The price is really not bad because when you buy this and you can program it yourself, you don't have to pay labor. 
you, you know, yeah. it, oh it's got a, it's, it's a really, it is kind of groundbreaking and it's, it's kind of filling a niche that, that really, um, has, has been evacuated when the, when the Harmony Pro went away. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be something that, you know, if some, if someone doesn't feel comfortable setting it up, you know, we could, we can definitely help them with that. But my point is to get something that's going to approach these capabilities with Savant, Control 4, or, or, or Alon. you got to buy processors. you got to buy this. Oh, and yeah. Program it. Well, so he, he did that being, now, if you had a bigger home, it's a no-brainer. No but for most of what you sell to uh, most yeah. people need, this is a great product. Again, fills well, that niche in, in that spot. Well, Roth did tell me that, you know, whenever he was at, Whenever he was helping with the Crestron job, I should say, he they did a six point four million dollar system or something with Crestron, and he was like, "There's nothing that we did on that Crestron job that Ava could." Do. I don't know it. The sales pitch and what we saw at the booth was like, "Oh my God, we've been eating this." Thank you. <laughs> Is there an IR on the remote yes. itself? Yes. Oh, there. Yeah. okay. And their blaster. He was talking about how strong it is, like. I, I don't I don't want to speak out of uh, I, I, I don't know the technical aspects, but he said it's like twice as strong as the Harmony Hub was, you know, has a blaster and then they have individual yeah. outputs as well with USB-C to IR to control any devices that they can't control over the IP network. Nice. And then you can set up web hooks to recall those web hooks. If you're familiar with web hooks, it's like a basically you can set up third party um, commands through webhooks and then you can call those webhooks into your Ava flows as well. No. So kind of, kind of similar to what you're doing, Shane, with that um, room control. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it, it'll be, it'll definitely be interesting. So is there and like an external app to program that or web interface or something? It, it's all built all in on there. there. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's what's so intriguing. Yeah, it's Any just the remote. Because even with the Harmony, we had to use an application to do it. Yeah. Yeah, like an external app. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. And that looks like a, almost a, kind of like a magic mouse mouse touchpad almost, right? Like it's clickable? Yep. Yep. Yeah. It's clickable. It has a, a feedback. So whenever you're scrolling like around the circle, it'll kind of like vibrate things like that um, whenever you select on the wheel a certain quadrant of that square it'll is kind of that raised or that is that just a graphic yeah it's raised okay oh that's cool so the yeah the glass is raised on that little portion of it nice yeah, and this yeah, it looks great yeah i would assume this is a, like an aluminum remote not plastic yeah it's aluminum yep <coughs> because they're the the processor and everything in that remote is going to be just as much power as some of the like hosts that you see with some of the other automation systems. Hmm. Um, so the, the aluminum helps kind of cool as well with thermals and stuff. Kind of like an iPhone, you know, the, the glass and the metals are kind of more conducive to. Right. Right. They yeah, keep the, cool. yeah. Nice. When is this uh, releasing? first week october is what we're hearing so as soon as we get them in cool very cool yeah shit that's gonna fill a big niche for sure 